University of Queensland's potential coronavirus vaccine with CECL has been abandoned after trial participants returned false positive HIV test results. This was one of four vaccines which the Morrison government had entered into a deal with and is a blow to Australia's potential pool of vaccine options. Let's go live to Canberra now for some reaction with Tom Connell. Tom, good morning to you. It's a significant development. It is. So this is reported this morning from uh, Rob Harris in Night and Newspapers. This deal has been abruptly terminated. The timeline was this. On Monday, uh, CSL working with UQ found this issue. They informed the government by Thursday National Cabinet had abandoned the use of the vaccine. There were 200 trial participants uh, in this vaccine. Several of them have returned false positives. That's important to stress, false positives for HIV. And sources, according to this story, are saying these people are not actually at risk. So how has this happened? Well, this vaccine actually uses a small component derived from HIV. So it's able to... Um, it's used in the vaccine. It's not able to infect people nor replicate in the body. What it is able to do is uh, start a, a response within the body that can actually interfere the screening process... And so that means return a false positive. We don't know how long the false positive, so this was always warned about. So no risk, and it was always a possibility. Why this decision? Well, this appears to be out of an abundance of caution. We know the importance of having confidence in vaccines. We know the risk of misinformation in these campaigns. And it appears, for that reason, we'll hear more from the government, of course, later on today, but it appears for that reason it has been scrapped completely. So it's about public confidence in other vaccines. This decision, of course, would have been influenced by. This decision was, well, perhaps hinted at yesterday afternoon by the Prime Minister, Scott Morrison, in a radio interview. Um, just getting updates all the time on this. You know, we've, um, we have got four that we've been working on and uh, we always knew not all of those would uh, you know, necessarily get there. And, and so we'll just follow the medical advice on all of that. So we always knew not all of those would necessarily be successful. The government paid $4.5 million out of a fund up front. But the $1 billion price tag given to this did not have to be paid until a green light had been given to authorities. So it's not going to severely hit the coffers. Where does it leave Australia in terms of vaccine options then? Because we do have other vaccine options, of course. Well, the government is already, uh, according to these reports, swiftly moving to try to shore up supply of other vaccines. The remaining options, Pfizer with 10 million doses. That's the quite difficult one to get because of the cold storage. Novavax, 40 million. AstraZeneca, 33.8 million. And AstraZeneca has been specifically mentioned there as one vaccine the government will try to source more of to make sure there's not a shortfall of this. So CSL and UQ, um, of course, are going to continue to work uh, on this. So it's not necessarily game over for them. It would appear to on this particular project, at least. They'll provide a, a, a later on a market update as well, Pete. But look, significant news. The vaccine abandoned. But this is all about confidence in the vaccine in Australia. We know how important that is for people to have confidence to actually take the vaccine and all the benefits that would flow to our economy. Yeah. All right, uh, Tom, appreciate that. Thanks for bringing us up to speed. And you can see there CSL to make a statement to the ASX today.